First John 5, verse 5. Who is the one who overcomes? The world. But he who believes that Yeshua is the Son of God. Revelation chapter 2, the, to the church of Ephesus, to him who overcomes, to the assembly at Smyrna, he who overcomes, to the congregation at Pergamos, to him who overcomes, to the congregation at Thyatira, and he who overcomes to the congregation at Philadelphia, he who overcomes to the congregation at Laodicea, he who overcomes. Romans chapter 8, verse 37. But in all these things, we are more than overcomers through him that loved us. So, Father, today we agree with your word. No matter what's going on around us, what's going on in us, what's going on in our neighbors or our family, our friends or the government or the world, we declare today that we are the overcomers in your word because you overcame, because you told us we could overcome, because you called us overcomers. We can overcome today. Father, I pray for everyone and everything that they're dealing with, that they would overcome today, that they would choose on the precipice of whatever they're dealing with to overcome it, to not quit, to not come short, to not fall and not get back up and keep going. I pray that we would be those who never quit, who never give up, who never slack in our commitment to the Master, our Messiah. Father, we are overcomers today. We are overcomers today. Are there overcomers today? Hallelujah. Are there people that are not going to quit in the face of all kinds of odds, but keep overcoming? It is our promise. It's our promise. Our Master did it for us. He's made the way. He's opened the path. He blazed the way. He climbed the mountain. He swam the ocean for us. He made it. And behind him, we can all go through. Father, we thank you for that in Yeshua's name today. We give you all glory, honor, and praise.